Look at that level of dedication. I am taking the Hib Stadium tour today. I've just finished filming a video at Bonnie Rig Rose and I'm currently editing my video, which should be up by the time you're watching this one, uh, where I took a subscriber called Glenn to a football match. Um, so yeah, there just aren't enough hours in the day for me sometimes. I'm usually just sat outside in my car of stadiums that I'm about to film at editing videos if you could hit that like button subscribe if you're new that'd be amazing like i say today i'm filming a hibs video here um as well as my bonnie rig one that i've just filmed i'm not sure what order they'll come out in um as you can see i'm extremely busy right now and i don't know which like what days are going to come out but it is the hibs stadium tour today look and as you can see up there that is the hibs badge the harp which signifies the um the irish roots of the club you have Edinburgh Castle right there, and then the ship, which uh, is a nod to the shipbuilding area of Leith, of which Hibs finds itself. But look at that, an absolutely beautiful stadium, and one that I have been wanting to go inside for ages. I've done the Ibrox tour. Well, I've been inside for a game here, let me say that first, but in terms of tours, I've done the Ibrox tour, the Celtic Park tour, the Tyne Castle tour, and the Hampden Park tour. And I feel like the Hibs tour will really just... Um, round off the central belt massive football stadiums that I need to see tours of. And let me just read you out this email that I got uh, just the other day from the club after booking this tour. So where is it? Here we go. Right, so good afternoon. Thank you for booking the stadium tour and lunch on Friday the 11th of February. So you get lunch with this as well. I can't remember the price. I don't think it tells me on here. I think it was like 11 quid or 15 quid absolute bargain for what I'm about to read out. I I think when I booked it, I didn't even realise I got the lunch till I got this email. So doubly buzzing with that. Uh, when I did like the Arsenal, Spurs and Chelsea tours, I think they were like 27 quid or 29 quid. Whereas here in Scotland, you get a tour and lunch. But not just that. Let me read you this. Right. The arrival is 1pm. It's currently 12.17. So using this time wisely to do my editing. Uh, for a soup and sandwich lunch prior to our club historian, Tom Wright, taking you on a guided tour of the stadium at 1.30. As this is our first tour since the pandemic, we have arranged for a club legend, Pat Stanton, to join you for lunch to chat and have photos taken. So, not only is this the first tour since COVID, not only is the historian of the club going to take us around, not only do we get lunch, but a legend will be joining us as well. Really nice welcome from the Hib staff, and we are yeah starting the tour upstairs. Never been in this area before, of course. Been to Easter Road for a couple of games, but look, already on the way, we've got pictures on the walls. I'm gonna have lunch up here before the tour begins. Right, and this part is actually quite incredible. Look, it's got all the teams that Hibs have played in Europe before. From Bromby and Malmo to Asteras Tripolis to AK Athens. I actually have an AK Athens shirt, weirdly enough. Hibs against Leeds, Hibs against Barcelona. Look at that. Drew four all. Looks like a way to Barcelona and then beat them 3 2 at home. Look at that. And sport in Lisbon. Juventus even played. Looks like they got a bit battered by Lisbon. Stanton scored. Oh, sorry, by Juventus. Stanton scored. Is that Pat Stanton who's coming on the tour, possibly? Then Liverpool as well. Look at that. And Valencia. Wow. I didn't have to introduce this gentleman, the famous Black Stan, so he'll be coming with us, so we'll stop every now and then you can ask him questions, is that okay? You might walk this way anyway. This is our programme corridor, folks. It's uh, our, the programme, uh, every cup final and some other uh, famous games, 
the, the end of the war, and they all go down there in order, and I'll speak to them somehow. This was, the Scottish Cup was played for 1946, so instead of that, we just at the end of the war, played for the Victory Cup, and Hibs got to the final, but unfortunately, they'll beat as such. So what would you say was your proudest moment playing for Hibs then? I think you never forget your first game. Oh, your debut, who was that against then? Against Dundee. Right, okay. you, you, I don't think you forget your, your first game. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, and was that so, with all the European shirts that I saw around there, there was one with Juventus and it had Stanton scored. Was that you? Yes, that's good. Yeah. You scored against Juventus, wow. Aye. That must have been a proud moment, scoring against big European teams like that. Oh, that's right. Aye, some great sides. So yeah. Uh, but they were magical nights because in the old days the terrace you went away up and the, oh, I can imagine, you, yeah. you come down here on a, a, a night and the fur lights are on yeah. and the, f the people are there and it's, 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 like, it's like a lot of things, you know, you, you go to see these big games, some, some stadiums, Anfield. Yeah, it's different on a European night than it is on a Saturday 3 o'clock, yeah. isn't it? In the middle 1800s there was a major potato farm in Ireland where most of the crops failed and because most of the people were poor, it was a staple diet, so there was no food at all. They reckon to a population of about 8 million, that almost a million people died of starvation. It's hard to imagine even now, almost a million people dying of hunger. So a lot of them had to sort of move elsewhere, somewhere in Australia, somewhere in New Zealand, England obviously, Glasgow, a little bit of Dundee, because of the, the juvenile, the work up there was immense. A lot comes from Edinburgh. In 1875, a group of young Irishmen and descendants of Irishmen decided to form a football team. And they called it for the Queen Hibernian after the Roman name for Ireland, Hibernia, and of course the Greens are traditional colours. We played the Hearts, our very first, we played the Four High, I think, but our very first recorded game took place on Christmas Day 1875 in the Meadows against the Hearts, so we'll not have the score. Do you get a special feeling like standing here? Oh yes, yeah. Nice. It's, it's, it's terrifying. To bring back memories of like standing in this tunnel. Yeah. And when you played the foreign teams, you know, and they're all very athletic and they're like film stars. And you, I remember when Celtic won the European Cup, they were standing in the tunnel waiting to go out. Jimmy Johnson standing there with the wee white legs and the teeth out, and standing there, and you had Matsola and Ferchetti, like Greek gods. And Jimmy turned to Bobby Lennox and says, how, how can we possibly beat these guys? And they beat them. It's a great tour and it's great to chat to Pat about um, just his time. Um, there's some stuff I haven't filmed that I'm like just chatting to him about, but yeah, look at this. Lovely to be down here, pitch size. You can tell how big it is from down here. Just over 20,000 capacity here at Easter Road, of which I'm stood on the pitch right now. Absolutely love these kind of days out. And that up there, those black seats that you see, that's where I was for the Edinburgh Derby and then for the Rangers game, I was up there. So I've seen two games here um, before. And that, I believe, is the away end, yeah. That is where the Hearts fans were, the Rangers fans, etc. I would really recommend the Hibs tour. Like I said, that was the uh, first one since COVID. I've been refreshing the Hibs website every couple of weeks since March 2020. And uh, finally, the other day, it popped up like a book one. So here I am now, outside of Hibs, finally completed the tour. I've done Tyne Castle, Hibs, Hamden, Celtic and Rangers now in Scotland. The five big kind of central belt tours, I guess. You could count Murrayfield in that, but you know me, I'm not a rugby fan. 
I would rather watch a tiny non-league game than like a Six Nations rugby match. Everyone tweeting about it, people will say to me, where is Scotland beat England? I don't even know, did they beat England? I feel like they might have done. I'm all about the football and uh, when I get to come out for days like this where I went to Bonnie Rig earlier on and then Hibs here, I don't think I was, it was on camera, but I was chatting to Pat Stanton, the legend on the tour today, who uh, actually started as a youth player at uh, at Bonnie Rig. So I was chatting to him about that, like what a day just to come and uh, chat to a Hibs legend who's played at Bonnie Rig. I had um, gone down to Bonnie Rig before as well. So yeah, again, not sure which video will be out first or whatever, but look at that, what a view, what a stadium. You have to come and take the Hibs tour. A massive thank you for watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Uh, it really, really helped me out. It helps the algorithm. If people watch one video to another, um, yeah, really uh, helps YouTube think that I've got a decent channel. But yeah, here we are now. Easter Road. What a pleasure it's been. Can't wait to come back for another match. Thanks for watching and goodbye.